If you have ever worked in a busy DevOps shop, then you would appreciate the value of automating as much as possible, especially the pull requests. Just suppose that you have lots of developer teams who deal with a lot of software day in and day out. You have so many developers which are making changes to the code and then creating the pull request so that someone would go describe them, review them and then maybe merge them. Normally what happens is that these pull requests are created on a change code and then the code is merged into, into the development environment or set or UAT environment. Once everyone is happy, then that is merged in onto the main or master branch. But before that, if you, as I said, if you have one or two developers, then it is fine. But if you have many developers making many changes all the time, then managing all of it becomes a real pain in the back. That is where AI can help and this tool PR agent seems quite promising. This tool PR agent is not only open source, but they also provide a hosted version, which I haven't checked, but this tool PR agent can be installed locally and you can play around with it. It is a collection of tools and features built around leveraging large language models to assess with various tasks related to code review and development workflows in a collaborative software environment. In this video, I will be showing you how can you get it installed locally and then I will show you how you can review with one of the pull requests from my own GitHub repo. So with the help of this tool, you can automatically generate pull request descriptions, summaries, code walkthroughs and labels. And this tool can also perform automated code reviews. It can provide you adjustable feedback on potential issues, security concerns and review effort estimations. It also offers code suggestions for improving PRs, answers, free text questions about the code changes, and it automatically updates change logs, finds similar issues or code components, and generates documentation for changed method functions and classes. And there are a lot of other features which you can check out on their GitHub repo. And I will drop the link in video's description. Now, before I take you uh, to my local system where we will install it and play around with it, let me uh, give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM which I'm using for this video and also the GPU which I will be using which is a NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will highly recommend them. I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I will also put a coupon code which will give you 50% discount on already discounted GPU prices. So do check them out if you are also interested in running these models and tooling and play around with it on your own VMs. Okay, let's go to my local system where which I just mentioned. This is a VM which Mast Compute has given and this is the GPU card which I have using courtesy to them. Let's clear the screen. Also make sure that you keep everything simple and nice from your local system. As you see, I already have this Conda installed which I will be using to do exactly that. Let me clear the screen and now let me create the Conda environment. So I'm just calling it PR agent or pull request agent. And then it is going to create that environment. Just press Y here and that should be ready in a second. And there you go. Let's step into that environment by activating it. And you see that it is visible in the parentheses. Let me clear the screen. Now, in order to install PR agent, all you need to do is to run this pip install PR agent command and that it is going to install it. Let's wait for it to finish. You don't take too long. So PR agent is installed. Now let me clear the screen. So what I'm going to show you now is my GitHub repo where I already have a pull request. If you, and you can integrate it with Bitbucket, uh, GitHub, GitHub Enterprise or any other code repository which you are using. And I will show you how shortly. So you, because I'm using GitHub, so I would grab a GitHub token for authentication with GitHub because I will be making um call from here so if you have any other authentication method with github bitbucket please use that 
plus I will be using OpenAI's model so you would need uh, an OpenAI key so go to platform.openai.com and get your API key and that is a paid option now in order to grab the github token all you need to do is to go here on this github.com then on your profile click on your profile then scroll down click on settings and then again scroll down keep scrolling down and click on developer setting and then click on this p uh, personal access token or pat fine grain tokens and then i have just created this test token for me for the temporary one i already have the token so you would need this token and as i said go to platform.openai.com and grab your openai's api key once you have that let me quickly show you the code which i have prepared for you it's a simple code we already have installed peer agent let's import those libraries from peer agent and i have just written this simple main function all it is doing is i am specifying my provider github if you are using any other bitbucket or something like that you can use that this is where you need to put your github pad token which i have just showed you this is where you put your open AIs api key and this is where i have created a pull request which i am going to show you shortly and command which i am asking it to do is describe you can review it you can do a lot of things here and i will uh, just quickly name them and you can also find the whole information there are heaps of them on their github repo once that's done we are just setting it up with our um, get settings function from pr agent and then we are running it and it is going to run the command and it is going to put the description on the github so I already have put that um, code on my server in the terminal here. I'm just going to show you ls-ltr pr test. This is my Python function uh, and it contains a code which I showed you and it has a key. So that is why I'm not showing you again here. Let me clear the screen. And now let me, before I run it, let me quickly show you my um, uh, page where i am i have been putting that pull request give me a second i will open it okay so i found it let me take you there so this is my github repo click on pull request here and this is already i have this new pull request here so when i am going to run that it is going to populate a description there so let's go back to the terminal and let me run that so I'm just saying Python see the name was PR test. Let's see. So it is accessing it. There you go, you see. So it has pulled the pull request, it has used 714 token, and then it has uh, said that it has put in the description over there. It is generating a PR description for this pull request number one. Okay, let's go back to the browser. So you see it is a pull request number one let me select it and then you see there are two conversations so if i go down you see this is my i added a new content just as a sample earlier on and then if i go here you see that it has uh, put in all the information here and this is our pr is pr agent which has put it in here how good is that and then once you are satisfied you can simply um, merge it or whatever you want to do you can do that so now coming back to the github repo let me show you what else you can do with it so this is from the github repo you see you can describe the pull request you can review it you can improve it you can even ask the uh, question about the uh, github repo you can do the similar add doc generate analyze lot of stuff you can do as per this github repo and moreover as i said that you can integrate it with gitlab like this just you have to put your um, web hook here or bitbucket just put it in your git bitbucket pipelines in that yaml file this bitbucket pipeline yaml file all you need to do is to just put this and this is the step which you need to add so all in all a real good tool i would say I'm very impressed by it by by the way but I think um, I'm not sure how its hosted version works, but looks good. So try it out. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.